Oh my god, I shot three videos and this button was unbuttoned the whole time. Hey guys, so today we are creating a hedgehog cake. He's looking so good. Ooh, those colors, man, they're so cool. I think this guy is adorable. I love his multicolored spikes. I love his little hand that's like, hello, that's so cute. He's such a lady killer, so let's get started. To create this cake, I started with my doll cake pan. This is the pan that I usually use to create doll cakes, but I thought it would be perfect for my hedgehog. I cut my cake into three equal layers and I just started to layer them on my cake board. In between each layer of cake, I added some buttercream and then flattened it out with my offset spatula and repeated that process again. I'm just using a vanilla cake, but I had some extra dried blueberries, so I threw those into the batter as well, and it tasted really good. It was like a super sugary blueberry muffin. Uh, yummy. Now I added another layer of buttercream, and I actually thought that the doll cake top was too thin and narrow, so instead I decided to replace it with a 6 inch round cake. That way it would have like a full head as opposed to like this triangular looking head. After that, I started to carve my hedgehog shape. The first thing I did was give him like an oval shape. I wanted him to look like a blob from the side, just a round circular blob. For the front, I was gonna give him like this huge belly, but then I decided that I wanted all of the roundness to come from the back, so I just made it flat. And then I started to round out the six inch round cake on top and I didn't level this cake because I knew that I needed the hump to create the rest of his head. It's like a pebble, isn't it? Once I was happy with the front and the back being rounded, I gave this baby a crumb coat. Just sealed in all of my crumbs onto this layer of buttercream. Then I placed it into the fridge to chill for probably about like two hours. And while it was chilling, I was actually creating all of the spikes for my hedgehog. Are they spikes or are they fur? Like spur, right? It's funny, when I don't know a word, I don't actually think about looking it up. I'm just like, you know, I'm gonna create a brand new word. <laughs> now to create these spikes, I'm using 10 different colors of fondant. Hedgehogs are usually just like brown or gray or white. Um, eh, I wanted to like spiffy this guy up a little bit. So I rolled out each of my colors of fondant and then using a fondant cutter, I just cut out spikes. And this is a leaf cutter, but I just repurposed it to be his spikes. Placed each of my spikes onto a cake board and I just let them set for probably about like two hours so they wouldn't be so flimsy when I place them onto the cake. And I repeated this process with all the colors of fondant. I had to create so many of these, you guys, but it was okay because the entire time I was working on this, I was singing along to Aladdin and I know all the words to every song. <laughs> Rift rat, street rat, I don't buy that. If only they'd look closer. After I created all of my spikes, I used some pale brown fondant to create more of my hedgehog's features. For his little feet, I rolled into like an oval shape and then I added three little balls of fondant to give him three toes. For his like itty bitty hands, I rolled some fondant into a log and then using some sculpting tools, I just gave him three fingers on each hand. Now for his snout, I rolled it into a ball and then using my sculpting tool, I just separated the top from the bottom lip and then gave him a little black nose. And using some magic sauce, I glued together a little bit of crimson and pink fondant to get the inside of his mouth. And then I applied that to his mouth with a little bit of magic sauce as well. Now for his eyes, I created like, these are like almost like signature eyes. This is the same technique that I use on a lot of my character cakes now. We start with the larger circle for the entire eye, and then we add two circles in the middle. One is white for the catch light, and the second circle is the eye color, but a lighter tone. Then I add a tiny dot of white fondant to create a second catch light, see? It makes all of my character cakes like super cute. After I finished that, I applied them to the front of my hedgehog. Now I added an oval shape of ivory fondant to the front, and then using some magic sauce, I attached both of his little feet, then his snout with a little toothpick, 
his eyes, and then his itty bitty hands where he's like, hello. It reminds me of like Deadpool 2 when he says hi to Yukio. Hi Yukio. That's so cute. Now for his spikes, I piped out some buttercream onto the back of my cake so that I can attach all of my spikes to the buttercream. Spread it around using my offset spatula and then I started to apply my spikes to the back of the cake. Now the first spikes I cut in half so that they would cover the back of the cake and then I just started to layer. Spike after spike after spike after spike. Each spike layer overlaps the spike layer underneath it. Now I didn't actually have a patterned color scheme. They're all kind of random. Um, I just made sure that the same color spikes weren't too close together. After I finished like the first four layers, I was like, yo, this is a bomb idea. I can already see how cute this is gonna be. Worked my way all the way to the front of the cake. Now where my fondant seam was, I added very small diamond or spike shapes so that I could make the back look cohesive with the front. And I just attached all of those with a little bit of magic sauce. Now we're almost done. I just have one more thing to do because I don't want my hedgehog to be sitting on a cake board. So I colored some coconut shavings green and then I sprinkled it around so he looks like he's sitting on grass. This looks dope. I love the colors on this hedgehog. And I'm not taking credit for any of these colors. I was Googling pictures of hedgehogs and I saw this picture of a hedgehog that had these colors and I was like, yo, I'm gonna recreate that. I'll link that picture in the description box so you can buy it if you want. Whoever designed this, you are amazing. I love you. This cake gets me really excited because this cake and some of the recent ones, I'm moving into like 3D cake sculpting, which terrifies me. But they're coming out. Hey, they're coming out great. So I'm excited about the future because I've got a lot of ideas and I can finally execute them. Now I know that you guys wrote names and you wrote stories about this hedgehog in the community tab, but I switched my account to, I think it's called like a branding account and it deleted all of my posts on my community tab. So I couldn't go back and see anything you wrote. I'm currently working on a ton of characters. So make sure you hit the notification button so you can see them in the community tab. You can name them, you can give them stories and then those will appear in future videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Name him, name him or her in the comment section. I love you guys. I will see you very soon. Peace.